This is Piers Morgan Live. Well, we were uh, driving down the freeway and there was a car on fire, which isn't uncommon in L.A. in the summertime. And uh, as we were driving by, there was nobody around the vehicle, so we thought maybe they were standing away. And my wife looked over, actually, and the car was full of smoke and the flames were on the hood. She says, there is a man in the front seat of that car, hunched over. And I, I said, you're kidding me. And she said, no, there really is, there really is. And I just thought, I don't know. I, I didn't think. Well, somebody can't burn, nobody's helping him. So I flipped around and actually went up the on-ramp mm -hmm. of Parkway Calabasas, part, so I could get close to the vehicle, parked, ran there, and I opened the door. There was an elderly gentleman trying to gather his things, like he had spilt them, and uh, I said, sir, you gotta get out of this car. You gotta get out of the car. And he says, I'm trying to call the DMV, and I still didn't know who it was, he was bent over. And then the flames actually engulfed the whole front end of the vehicle, and I could feel the heat. Wow. And you don't want to really lay hands on anybody or grab somebody. So I just grabbed him by the arm and I pulled him out. I said, you got to get out now. And as he kind of stumbled out, he looked at me and I realized who it was. And he says, I'm okay. I'm okay. And I said, that's good. Let's get away from the car. And he said, really, I'm fine. I mean, we're looking at the pictures there. The car is going up completely very in flames. Fast. How fast after you pulling him out did he go up? As we're walking away, I sit him down and... Uh, he looks at his car and he goes, is that my car on fire? And I said, yeah, that's your car. And he smiled. He goes, man, I just got it out of the shop. Kind of made a little joke. He was very polite. And I said, you're Dick Van Dyke. And he goes, yes, I am. What's your name? And I said, Jason Pennington. He goes, nice to meet you, Jason. And he just was and sitting and how there. Long his car is burning. How long after that did the car go up? It, it was yeah. done then. It was completely in flames. So then. within several moments. minutes? Yes, moments. Within, minutes. Within two so he, minutes. So, so Kimberly, from what you were watching, yeah. He would almost certainly be dead, probably. But there's no question in my mind. My husband ran over to him, and the front end of the car was already burning. He opened the car door it's and tried smoke. to assist the gentleman. And in the time that he was just standing at the car door, the entire front end of the car was in flames. I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked at how quickly that entire car was engulfed in flames. Amazing. And I was terrified for my husband. But... He was really amazing. He got the gentleman out of the car. Of course, we had no idea who that was. And, you know, coaxed him away from his car. Um, so come on then, Jason. How do you feel about saving Dick Van Dyke's life? I mean, not every day you do that in Hollywood. Yeah, I know. <laughs> living in L.A., you see lots of stars. But, but the whole thing is, uh, what I'll say is, you know, policemen and firemen. You know, my brother-in-law is a NICU doctor, mm -hmm. and he saves babies every day. Like, he's my hero. To me, I thought it was just doing the right thing. Being a good human. I think I you mean, were a hero, I've got to say. He was in the car, and I would have done it for anybody. And that's why he didn't get my name, because when the paramedics and I would patrol there, I said, hey, I'm glad you're all right. I shook his hand, and I left.